Essex, just outside Basildon. It's only a small patch of land, but the future of this site to be decided today could have huge implications for travelling communities countrywide. Since its beginnings in the 1960s, it's grown into the UK's largest traveller site. For more than 140 families, it's home. Some have planning permission to be here, others don't. In May 2005, Basildon Council lost a High Court battle to evict them. The court said it failed to provide them with an alternative site. The council went to the Court of Appeal. If it wins this morning, 47 families, including 108 children, will be removed and a precedent set for councils across the land. People really fear losing their homes and, and not having a place to go and, and ending up by the side of the road. You can't live the travelling lifestyle that people used to live and then you find there's thousands of people stuck in a situation where they can't travel and they can't stop travelling. So everyone's got an image. If you ask anyone if you met a traveller, do you know a traveller? Um, I, I do diversity training now. The first thing I say, what do you know about travellers? And everything I get back is negative. You know, this is what you, you don't pay tax, you don't contribute, you don't apply for planning permission, um, you know, you've got a brand new 4x4, four four. how did you pay for it? But uh, everything is negative. No one ever says, you know, oh, you're a really interesting group, I'd like to know more about you. On the edge of the site, reminders of the last time the issue flared up. The court goes against them today. These barricades will be back. Mark Stone, Sky News.